It's a fascinating vehicle, for sure. It's a very, very complex. I have to say it's probably one of the most complex cars I've seen in my life. It's a little bit like going to the moon because I, could, I can consider that the people who designed the rocket to go to the moon didn't know what they have to expect and it's the same for us, I think, today as well. You can be the fastest car, but you will be not able to win if you don't have reliability. You can have the best driver, without reliability he will be nowhere. So first you have to finish before you can finish first. And in this case, first you have to finish, finish. Forget all the rest. The rest will come as a nice present. We tried to make the car service friendly, but obviously with so many electric engines, wiring lumens, fuel tanks, battery, and all of this, there's a lot more in, a, in this car than on a standard car, and that is a big difference. If you have to change, then it's a lot of work, obviously. All the crew has to go through a special training, but then to do it out in the field, we have to train again and train again that they are able to do things. Yes, they can change sensors, but we made a lot redundant to have not those problems. The rest we have to see. It will be completely different from before. Before you got out of the car, you were able to change some cables, a battery, something like this, even a servo motor. Here it's all more complicated. First you have to run the car down, make it safe and then to start. So the safety procedure we have to train them is huge. If you want to prove something in motorsports, I think this is the racing you have to take. You have lots of kilometers every day. It's the most difficult terrain you do. If it can survive this, I think it can go everywhere. <laughs>